Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King book review. I know you guys are anxious for this. Uh, you've been asking in the comment section over and over and over again on other videos. Um, sorry it took so long, but I wanted to enjoy the book. So uh, I, I hope you understand that. Um, that I want that when Stephen King's when Stephen King publishes a book, it's an event for me. Um, I look forward to it all year long. If it's two books a year, you know, twice twice a year, I'm I'm look I'm looking forward to it, and I want to be able to enjoy the book like you want to be able to enjoy the book. Um, his longer books, of course, are going to take longer. This one wasn't that long, but there was a lot of stuff in here that I needed to focus on. I couldn't blow through it because. It ties heavily into the Stephen King universe. I will have a Thursday Theorist up next week with all the ties that I found. Um, please don't post any spoilers or anything down there in the doobly-doo about any connections. Wait for that other video to pop up before you do that. Anyways, on with the review. Okay, so this book follows Jamie. He is a young man who can see dead people. Um, his mother, he, is, he has a single mother. He has an uncle with early onset dementia or Alzheimer's. I can't remember which one, um, but all that is important uh, to the to the story. They there, there's another character named Liz that at the beginning is uh, Jamie's mother's uh, girlfriend, and she beca Liz becomes a major character in the story. Uh, there, who this book. I don't know why, but it bored me to death for the first about 100 pages. It, there wasn't anything wrong with it. It was fine. It really felt like a better written Odd Thomas. Uh, but I, I think it had a lot to do with, I, I'd seen this type of character a lot before with Stephen King, because this is basically Danny Torrance all over again. But as a teenager, um, there is a huge, huge connection to uh, the Stephen King universe. Uh, and one of his best novels, it, it comes into play. There were rumors that this might be happening um, as a full-fledged novel, like a you know a, a standalone, a big tome or whatever. It's not. If you've heard the rumors, if you read the book and you've heard the rumors, this is probably what they're talking about. So, uh, and I, I I know I'm being obtuse here, but I, I don't want to spoil anything for you. And please don't spoil anything for the people down there in the doobly doo. Um, if you do, I'll be watching and I will remove you. Anyways, uh, let people enjoy things, man. Let people find them for themselves. Uh, so the, but after, once the twist, not the twist, we'll get to the twist in a second. Once the reveal of the connection comes in, I started to enjoy myself more. Now, I don't know if I enjoyed myself more because of the connection or because the book actually got better. I don't know. Um, I could be a biased Stephen King fanboy here, 100%. I, I, I could be. I don't think I am. I think it actually got better once uh, the 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 plot kicked in uh, because before that it's just it was more it it felt like there was a bunch of stuff in there like uh, Hearts and Atlantis no uh, low men in yellow coats uh, uh, or even uh, what it, Harrigan's phone that kind of thing it felt like that too it just all felt really familiar until you know the next part which is odd because he references other books in here but. Once he starts doing that, it feels like something else, I guess. Um, this book, I, I think it's the perfect length. Once again, I'm not sure it fits with hard case crime. Uh, it's not a hard-boiled noir. Uh, it is a horror story about a psychic kid um, and his family, uh, his, the, the relationships between the other people. It's your basic Stephen King fair up until that point where he throws in a fastball. Now, if you're like uh, Dane Cobain, hello, Dane, um, it, or any any other people who who get upset when Stephen King goes supernatural with a story that's, you know, that you don't think doesn't need it, you are not going to have a good time with this book. The ending of this book is absolutely wild. It has a great ending, a fantastic ending, and a twist that I, I didn't see coming. It's it's odd to see Stephen King write a thriller. Not It's not really a thriller twist, don't get me wrong. But there's a twist on who's who at, at the end that I was like, oh, wow, he went full John Irving. <laughs> and if you've read it and you've read all of John Irving's books, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I wasn't expecting it. It was something just completely, uh, I was like, 
it, it, it dropped my jaw. It may not do that for you, but it did for me because I don't expect twists like this in a Stephen King book. I just don't. Um, but the ending, this is one of Stephen King's best endings, I think. Um, I would probably put it in top 10. Uh, I really love the way this one ended. The visuals in this one are very striking, but Stephen King's always like that. The I think the best visuals have to do with Terrio, um, who, who I read the entire time as Theralt. But it's Terrio, because I had listened to the audiobook also right after I got done with this. Um, that's another reason why it took me so long to do uh, the, the review, because I like to give you guys, if I can, I like to give you guys the uh, uh, the audiobook, you know, whether or not the audiobook is as good as the text or if, the, if it's better or whatever. Um, also, this book is available on Scribe. It was available on Scribe day one. Uh, so if you have a, a subscription for them, definitely, you know, check it out there. Uh, I'm not sure if the text, the ebook is on there, but I know the audiobook is. Uh, if you don't have Scribe, there's a link down in the doobly-doo. If you use that, I get a free month, you get a free month. In fact, you make get two free months, I don't know. Um, but use that uh, if you want to. Uh, it's, it's a good service. There are some issues and some hiccups. In fact, I'll probably be doing a video about that separately. Um, why am I talking about that here? Because the majority of you watch the Stephen King videos. Uh, so I wanted to throw that out there that I will be doing something to, it's a fix for one of the, uh, let's see here, one of the, the glitches that's going on right now for Scribe. Anyways, back to the review. Uh, my favorite part of the book, just like with every Stephen King book, is the, is the characters, the character development. Uh, I think the characters are very, very well done. They are nothing new though. That's why I'm taking off a full star for this one because he he kind of went full Dean Koontz here. He just kind of recycled all of his, his previous stuff. Um, even though I did enjoy the stuff that he recycled in the in the last half of the novel, the, the connections, the fan service, I really enjoyed that. But the beginning dragged for me. Um, I was waiting for something to happen. I didn't I didn't really care too much about the the writer subplot. Um, in fact, I I don't I don't know. It, I mean, it fits. It works because it has a it serves a purpose. It's just I didn't I didn't care too much about that one. I do like that the this is a kind of a spoiler so if you want to click away now just go ahead i've said everything I, the next thing i'm going to say is kind of a spoiler um i do okay anyways spoilers in three two one no just kidding anyways <laughs> but uh, yeah spoilers for real um the I, I like the idea that the dead can't lie um there's no reason for them to be able to lie um any reason for them to lie they're dead it's over and done with you might as well tell the truth and I really really the one of my favorite parts of the book is when Terrio doesn't want to tell um and that it, it anyways that that whole that whole thing I, I thought that was especially well done I don't know that I'd ever seen anything like that before um so if you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo um, because I hadn't, uh, I like that rule. I really enjoy that rule because it makes sense um, to me in a supernatural way and it, it makes a lot of sense. Um, I guess uh, the last thing I want to mention is there are going to be a lot of you who do not like this book um, and I respect that completely, uh, but I, there, so often, especially in the Stephen King fandom, you guys get really, really excited, just like me, I, I admit. Also, if you don't like something, you, you some of you become assholes. So if you don't like this book, tell me why you didn't. But I, to say, you know, this book sucks adds absolutely nothing to the discussion. Uh, so please, if, you, if you've read this book and you don't like this book, explain why you didn't like it beyond the supernatural, um, beyond that supernatural aspect, because I know there's people, I'm going to get loads and loads. I didn't like this because once again, he went, you know, he went supernatural. It's Stephen King. It's what he does. And I will die on this hill forever. Stephen King does this. It should be more of a shock to you when Stephen King doesn't write super doesn't write supernatural than when he does. Um, and just because you don't think something is necessary or it's a cop out doesn't mean it is. But have you read later by Stephen King? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly doo uh, whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it. Once again, if you loved it or hated it, let me know why so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E. You've been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.